first thing I want to do is connect the RGB shift shader because you know I love it. I know many of you also love it. So we have the RGB shift and uh, we want to go on camera and extract the texture. Also the segmentation, maybe we'll need it later. So let's, let's grab the camera texture and just fit it into the RGB shift. Then we're gonna need a rectangle, full scale. I'm gonna need the material. We call this audio react Mat. Turn it flat and just connect it. Like this. You see anything because the amount of the RGB shift shader is zero. So from 0 0.1, it starts here. I don't know, with 0 0.5, you see it a lot. So how to how to make it work with the audio analyzer? It's actually really easy. So we connect this clip to make the sound going, and then we connect one of the band. We can just go straight inside the RGB shift. So once you hit play. Fresh. You know, this happens. Of course, you know, you can see here it goes from in a range from 0 0.4 to 0 0.7. If you want to, sometimes it's different. You can see here what's going on. I think we can add an exponential smooth thing. Let's disconnect the clip for a second. Exponential smooth thing to smooth out the transition a little bit. Plus maybe you may you may want to control the amount of the RGB shift so you can actually before here in the middle you want to put I guess a let's go with transition. I like it better. You have to put a number because we have just one value here. I like it because of the curve. We can change this curve, which is pretty fun in animations. So we say we want our RGB to go from 0 to zero 05, let's say. And then we want a little bit of smoothing, and then we have our RGB shader and everything. Let's turn it on. As you can see now, it's been a little bit controlled. Oh, I like this. We have to, maybe we need more. Of course, as we know, you know I like to open this patch and just mess around with the colors and everything.
Control Manny. So many colors, but I love it. So we're gonna keep it. I just gonna give this material. I knew I would gonna need the segmentation. Oh, this is lovely. Let's uh, try by manipulating this real fast. Then, as I told you, I wanna make an overview about this. So, CF line, step, mix, and uh, I turn the mix to color and uh, I don't know, let's add a face tracker with the plane. We sign a material and then we turn the material to flat and then we connect it here or here or here. I like it. Oh. But so we want to what we want to do is add a SDF twist let's say and then connect it here and you're gonna have a little twist but we want to start from zero and then assign a, a band that, that with a uh, transition number and uh, I want this transition to go from zero just like it is to let's say five or 45 why not so when you now try to play the clip bingo this is gonna happen and if you want a little bit uh, let's say 10 let's say 50 oh wow now it's something. Also, let's stop it. And now I want to give this little thing just some color. And I'm gonna drag in the rainbow patch, little thing I've made. And uh, I'm also going to give it to you for free and connect it to some colors, just like here. Here and uh, yeah, you know you can you can just have them both go on add and like have this kind of crazy thing on your face going on. Why not? And like you know to hang out like this. Uh, I'm going to experiment a little bit with the sound on, so just follow and uh, I don't know, let's make something crazy and then we're gonna jump to the conclusion, so let's make something more.
more light than so. I like this one a lot. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the crazy adventures of Native.